Hey there, fellow citizens of the internet. My name is Moses. Let me tell you a quick story. Not really a story, but my experience living in Lisbon for six months. Three months on, three months off. This was 2022. Six months living in Lisbon. I went there initially because I had a job that I worked third shift in. Living in uh, Los Angeles, I would work during the night and sleep during the day. Four months into the job, it just the night shift was really getting to me so i decided wait a minute i think i want to quit but what if i change time zones first and i was working remotely so that's a key that is a key part uh the second reason is well portuguese fluency i i grew up speaking portuguese in mozambique and but it had been 12 years or so since i had uh spoken it on a daily so my fluency had gone to well to shit on one hand my fluency in portuguese would come back and on the other hand i would keep my job and work day during the day instead of working at night obviously it goes without saying it was a remote job i really 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 liked lisbon i think it might end up being my long-term stay oh by the way i'm currently in a small city in central maybe central morocco i am currently at a motorhome uh, uh, rv parking place uh, but it's so quiet it's so chill i just i love this i love this anyways uh, back to lisbon i think lisbon might end up being my long-term stay or at the very least portugal i really 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 liked the pace of life of lisbon i really liked how inclusive it felt there's just people from literally all over the place portuguese speakers non-portuguese speakers alike one thing that caught me off guard was uh more than more than on one occasion uh, someone approaching me and offering me to buy drugs like hard drugs and i'm like whoa uh okay i i i didn't i did not expect that uh oh and they have really really good wine for really really cheap really good according to my standards which are non-existent i like the idea of having some good wine for relatively cheap so on the social side of it i would say that lisbon treated me really 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 well it was this place that is just everybody's taking care of their own business you have a standard of living that is great with relatively low cost so for someone like me that was working remotely and i don't spend a lot of money it was just it was a no brain i don't know why it took me so long oh another thing another thing on the social front is that i made so many friends with relative ease ah and if you do not speak portuguese it's uh it might be a bit challenging it might be a bit challenging uh, to navigate the place now there's plenty plenty of people that do not speak portuguese in lisbon and they get and they get by just fine but just know that you might go to places that you might go to a coffee shop for example and the the person there might not speak a single word of of portuguese uh so that's that means that you're gonna get to learn some portuguese at least the basic portuguese at the very least uh, which is a plus which is a plus as far as the food and beverages are concerned like i said wine they got some good wine for re relatively cheap uh i'm really not the person to listen to when it comes to foodies because i just munch whatever it is that you put in front of in front of me and i have no dietary uh, allergies if you cook your own foods you should have no issues if you want to go out on a daily basis it might get a bit expensive but you'll find your place you'll find your place you'll find your people it's a very welcoming very open city very 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 open culture as well uh, and of course you gotta listen to some fado f-a-d-o if you end up getting a chance uh and go well there's no way of missing fado if you go if you go eat anywhere out in lisbon the likelihood that you're gonna run into some fado action is huge so i just wanted to share my two cents my quick experience my experience living in lisbon for six months which was great 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 and if you are considering to travel to lisbon even if you don't speak a single word of portuguese but of course if you do speak spanish you will be able to get by this is by no means a comprehensive review or take of what lisbon 
is like. It's just a little glimpse of my experience living in Lisbon for six months. I am currently traveling through Morocco in my motorhome, RV, van, and exploring what life is done like here in Morocco. Last year, I also traveled to several other countries and I might make a video highlighting my experience going through all those different countries. But for now, I just wanted to share my two cents on my experience in Lisbon. If you wanna follow my journey, as I travel through the world, as I navigate this thing that we call life, trying to find where I fit into this whole, this big planet uh, of ours. You can like this video, you can share it, you can subscribe so that, well, you can follow my journey. My name is Moses. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.